Well, if I smile, you might notice some dimples. Let's do that to sheet metal as well. This is the sheet metal part that we've been working on. And let's continue by using what we call the dimple tool. Being able to add certain strength promoting additions to your part uh, sure is helpful. So I'll grab a sketch on this top face and we're gonna dimple out a profile into the part. So we'll choose a sketch. I'll go with a rectangle here. Oh, about there. We'll add a line here and a line there. And I'll make sure that my line here is actually horizontal. And I'll choose trim. And there. From here, I'll go to uh, sketch fillet. I'll make a fillet there and there and apply. And I'll simply go all the way around with my fillets. Just like that. From here, I'll simply dimension off of my origin to fully constrain my sketch. Also make sure that we have some horizontals in there. Just like that, we're fully constrained. So with this profile done, we'll deactivate the sketch and I can choose dimple right here. And as I do, you can tell that we've dimpled this profile. And I can change my draft angle if I wish. I can give this maybe a 10 degree draft. And I can also override my depth. But if I enter two extreme of numbers, right, maybe I'll say times 10, it works in a Libre, but you'll have to consult the manufacturer of this to make sure that this is a realistic way to form metal. So be careful whatever values that you add. I'm gonna say the thickness times two for now. And as you can tell, we're drafted inwards. Interestingly, you may notice that the sketch was on this face and we've dimpled on into the other side. That is true uh, when we do dimple. So we'll want to sketch on the face that we we'll want to press into in order to make the dimple. I'll sketch over here, right? I can project to, to my sketch and I'll choose uh, create reference figure with maintained association to source entity and import the sketch. I'll hit control A to select everything and we'll choose offset and I can even offset this and half looks pretty good. We'll say okay to that and we will dimple again on the other side. So we can dimple on a dimple, and what that buys us is we can make these sort of channels in our part that can represent some complex geometry or maybe a complex stamping. Now I can still flat pattern my part, and you'll see the dimple remains in there. And that's to say that, at least as far as the Libre is concerned, you'd want to make the stamp uh, prior to cutting out your metal blank to account for a stretch and things like that. Well, that's how we make the dimple tool, but there are even more capabilities that we can talk about in the next video. See you then.